Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we are going to be returning to a new turn-based uh, strategy and war game called Total Tank Generals, developed by noobs from Poland and 505 Games. This is a sponsored video, so just sort of an FYI about that. And if you're interested in picking the game up, there's a link in the description to the Steam page where you can do that. Uh, now in today's video, this is our third episode in this series, we will be taking a look at the counteroffensive at Stalingrad. We are playing the Soviet campaign, uh, and we will see how we can do in the second battle in the campaign. The first battle was the battle for Moscow, the counterattack at Moscow. In today's video, we will be starting up uh, the counterattack at Stalingrad. Uh, now, as I said, this was taken from a live stream, so let's just go ahead and jump back in, pick things up where we left off, and see how this, uh, this battle plays out. All right, Operation Uranus, brilliant. Victory is in six turns. Major victory is in nine turns. Minor victory is in 12. The minor would unlock the T-70, which we didn't get in the last battle. The major would unlock the T-74-76B and the T-70 as well, plus 1,000 prestige. The brilliant would unlock the SU-85 tank destroyer as well as everything else above and 1,200 prestige. Capture all major strategic points within the turn limits to win. So you can see here's the campaign progress so far. I guess I haven't won any medals. That's why they're all grayed out. And, uh, and yeah. Thanks for the follow, Spartan and Jack. Also, thank you for the resub, Venskid. Appreciate that. Much better watching than opening day. Yeah, it was rough. As a Brewer fan, opening day was rough. All right, so what do we got? Do these guys carry forward their experience levels? It looks like they do. So we get to bring our units from the previous battle, which is nice. Although those T26s aren't going to be terribly useful. Oh, we have 2,112 prestige. The Germans occupy Stalingrad, our object. We have our troops to, nor to the north of Stalingrad. Doesn't look like we get the southern portion of the pincer, just the northern portion. And so we're going to be coming from the north, driving south. We've got to take the main strategic point here and then Stalingrad itself. I don't know if the Germans will attack at our troops here that are already that are in this corner of Stalingrad or not. Okay, so it's just prestige. So really, it's these two points. The airfield over here would be nice, though, so that we can get get air units in. Are these units that I have to pay to redeploy? Or do I get to bring forward the units from the last battle? Oh, yeah, these are owned units, so I, I get to carry these units forward. Cool. So let's deploy our medium tanks together. I wonder if I can rename them. I haven't, I haven't taken a look at that. So we've got two T-34s that we already own. And then we're also going to go ahead and buy another T-34 unit so we can have a full stack. Oh, they're not available in the current mission. Oh, I haven't unlocked the T-34 for purchase yet? Damn. Okay. Shucks. I wanted to have a full a full stack so I could launch like assaults with them. I feel like that would be much more effective. Well, we can still do it with a with a two stack. And we can do the light tanks in a in a in a division, if you will. So we've got a, a stack of light tanks, a stack of medium tanks. Bring in our infantry as well. Let's get the more experienced guys in here. So let's have a, a crack division. Maybe it'll be our guards division if we can. So this guy's a level one or level two. Level two or this is level three. So for level two infantry. Maybe we should, let's pull these tanks out first. So we can get our infantry closer to that airfield. Because taking that airfield, I think, is going to be important to our success here. 
and I think an assault would be ideal for that. I do have heavier infantry unlocked for purchase now, though, right? Because of that last battle? Yes, I do. Okay, good. Back to the owned units. This is going to be a crowded battlefield. All right, let's take those, those light tanks and put them here. That leaves me with 7 out of 16. I can put an individual light tank with the uh, with the T-34s, I suppose, just to save some space. And then, do we have any more leveled up infantry? Two. So put those guys on the flank here. We'll add a uh, anti-air unit to that. Put an artillery unit here in the rear. Can already reach most of the stuff. Put a mortar unit with that also. Let's leave the rest of the owned infantry. I'm assuming I can call those units in as reinforcements. Let's leave some of those other units out for the moment. And buy some additional stuff. So I want to buy three assault infantry. I'm curious how, how well they assault. There's not really much sense in buying more tanks because my stuff is unavailable. We could buy another artillery unit. I think that's a good idea. And then... I don't know how much armor they're going to have on this map. This is more of a city fight, I think. Let's buy a recon vehicle, which we'll put on the flank here. And then maybe two heavy infantry. What does the heavy infantry do? What's the advantage here? So... Soft attack, 24. Hard attack, 16. Assault infantry, 16. Soft attack, 10. Hard attack. Regular infantry. So the heavy infantry is just like, just generally better. Well, that's why they're expensive. Okay. All right, well, that's everything we can fit right now, and that's all the prestige we have. Level some stuff up. We've got one unit we can level up, and then we'll keep these guys in reserve, I suppose. All right, do the Germans get to go first? Oh, no, they're deploying. Okay. So they're digging in on that airfield. We have no air units, no air points initially. The Germans get a ton of them. We gotta, we gotta take those airfields quickly. But let's go for this airfield here on the right flank first. It looks like they've got a light tank unit, a Panzer Grenadier Regiment, two Panzer Grenadier Regiments, and a light tank unit. You're gonna pound these guys with Artie. Artillery, king of the battlefield. <laughs> they withdrew from the airfield. They're like, oh, we can't take this. We're not going to take it. No, we ain't going to take it. All right, we're going to move our recon truck up. Oh, boy. All right, so the enemy has a bunch of stuff adjacent to the airfield. They've got a anti-tank unit here. Some tank units and infantry. And then some infantry adjacent as well. So I don't really love the idea of my infantry versus their... Well, infantry versus anti-tank is fine. They're not going to get shot moving here as far as I can tell. There's no overwatch icon. So move them here. Can we launch an assault? 100% chance of assaulting either direction. First, before we do that, though, can we attack and then assault? No. We don't have the, we don't have the points to do that. Okay. Then let's use one of our infantry units to assault.
All right, let's just assault the flank unit here. We'll see what we destroy. Three and four. So we pretty badly bloodied them. Took the hex to the south of the airfield. Anti-aircraft guns forward. What are we going to take? Five versus four. They won't shoot back if I hit these guys. Miss. Aww. Okay. Can I assault the anti-tank guns with my... I don't love that idea. But I want the airfield. I'm also kind of like diverting all my strength away from the real objective over here, which is maybe not sound strategy. Let's move our infantry. Can we detect what the enemy has? A lot of infantry. shooting Italian tanks okay Put these guys down here take the airfield because we need to. Sixty one percent chance of a successful assault there. Let's take some casualties and weaken the enemy infantry first. don't particularly want to drive out of here. And those are heavy casualties. Um, all right, we get the air right away. So let's do this. Let's dive bomb the enemy anti-tank. Cuts their strength by half. And maybe we can finish them off. Yep. All right, they're dead. Thank God. And we didn't even lose anything because we leveled up. We can like assault straight through to the Stalingrad objective, I guess. Alright. Okay. Enemy light tank. We took the uh, airfield. That's what we wanted to take. So that was the primary concern there. We'll move the armor over here. Let's weaken these guys a little bit. Missed. All right. Can I deploy more troops, by the way? These... These guys, is there room now? I can't. Okay, just keep pouring more troops in then, right? Need more capacity. I, 
All right, so our infantry capacity is all used up, but we've got those three new... We've got these three infantry units here. So we will move... Some of them forward here. We're not going to move them as one cohesive force. We'll move them gradually, I suppose. They get shot if they move there. What if I use these cheap infantry? With no experience. I'll eat up some enemy bullets. We'll take some casualties. But can I move the heavy infantry? Yes. Now I can move the heavy infantry in without getting overwatched. up. Jesus Christ. A lot of bad guys. Oh, that's... Oh, oh, no. Okay. Maybe that was dumb. Poor T-26. A little bit outclassed, I guess. Pull back. Hopefully you don't you don't die. Move our artillery forward. Okay. All right. I think that's going to end the turn. Although we got to upgrade some stuff. Uh, this tank unit, anti-infantry, is going to be key. I think in this battle. Trophy Hunter? That gives me more prestige. Whatever this unit kills, it generates prestige as if that target was captured and not killed. Ooh, that's nice. I'd rather go with the uh, heart attack, though. All right. End the turn. I didn't use the infantry on the other flank of Stalingrad. It didn't seem likely they were going to have much of a chance. And the Germans are going to bomb them, strategic bomb them. So that's probably good that we didn't get them out of their entrenchments there. Stack wipe for who, PDX? Hopefully not for us. Nice. So the enemy approached us. We got overwatch on them and nearly obliterated that infantry unit that they moved in. I hear tanks. Why do they have tanks coming out of Stalingrad? At least they're light tanks. Stay in the city where your tanks suck. I'm assuming. And a lot of enemy infantry counterattacking toward the airfield. They have a lot of units. That appears clear. And some artillery. Nice. That unit leveled up rather than died. Good job, boys. Because they would be long dead if they hadn't leveled up. They might still die, though. Yep. Uh. Man, they have a lot of action points. I guess that's two per infantry, though. Some arty in there. Oh, they are. I thought they were going to destroy that infantry unit in the north, but they missed. Oh, my God. Just stop. They're being so mean. All right. Um... Hmm. 
I'm assuming we want to bombard the enemy troops that are dug in. Cool if our artillery got multiple shots. All right, so heavy infantry here. All right, hit that enemy infantry. Maybe you'll destroy it. You don't, but you do badly shoot it up. Drove them back. Drove them back. Can you finish them off? Almost. Got them. Okay, we're going to pull this infantry back back, which we can't really do. Alright, so we drove the enemy out of that objective point. Destroyed. Oh, come on. Drove them back. You're going to get overwatched. It's fine. All right, attack out of the, at these guys in the open with your assault infantry. We need to do as much damage. There's just so many enemy units. I'm thinking that, like, focusing on destroying them is going to be much more important than taking a sort of min-max approach. Okay. Can you dig in? Yes, entrench. Make it harder for them to come at you, bros. All right, so I think the left flank is, is done. Ninety-four percent chance of success, huh? Let's weaken them just a little bit. Ninety-seven percent chance. Okay. Weaken them just a little bit more. I don't want to take any risks. Ninety-eight's good enough. All right, we drove them back. Guys need to reinforce because they're almost dead. Didn't quite destroy him. Hundred percent chance of a successful assault? Okay. Let's obliterate him. It's a heavy infantry unit. It's a valuable unit. Got it. All right, so we drove them back. Move those troops in to guard the airfield. I think we've got a few more units we can deploy.
Defense plus one. Ammo. What is this again? This is a artillery unit? Yes. Give me more ammo. Okay. So we're almost to the first main strategic objective. We're adjacent to it. There's a lot of enemy units around here. But we are at least in, you know, theoretically we could we could hit it soon. Maybe even next turn. There's a lot of enemy strength around here, though, that's problematic. The other one's here in Stalingrad, though. I don't think we're going to get there anytime soon. So let's end the turn and see what uh, the next turn has in store for us. I need more prestige. All right, those troops are running away. So a lot of their troops have had their morale broken, at least the troops on the front line. They're going to strat bomb my light tanks and infantry here. My flak. Wow. They lost seven health points on their strategic bomber there, so they did not do anywhere near as much damage as they could have. All right, that's a Panzer three, I think, so we're screwed. <laughs> I'm glad they attacked the lone infantry unit there. I'm okay with that result. They are on our flank, though, so we're going to have to deal with that. We do have an air unit that'll be able to do a, a, a dive bombing attack, so we can probably go for them next turn. And they finished off that infantry unit that they drove back. Man, my troops are soft. They're squishy! They're going to destroy another one of my infantry units there. Well, maybe not quite. You'd think defi defending behind a river we'd do a little bit better than we have. I guess we are doing two to one casualties on that other unit there. There goes another infantry unit. Any artillery. I'm kind of interested that the AI uses the artillery in the turn before after their assaults. But, wow, our morale sucks. Look at all those red flags indicating our the morale on our units is toast. Under assault infantry died. All right. Can you... You can't, because there's enemy units adjacent. You can't do that. Okay. All right. Heavy infantry versus the enemy infantry in the open. Good result. Now you can rest and resupply. Get your health up. You can't rest and resupply, by the way, if you are adjacent to an enemy unit. Hey, they missed. Level up. Good job. Okay, let's do our air attack on this enemy. It's a, yeah, Panzer three. We're going to pull our T-34s back to engage it. Apparently we can't move that far and attack on the same turn. Reinforce. Oh, wrong button. Oh, there we go. We can't assault. Oh, we can. 0% chance of success, though, so let's not do that. Well, what about the uh, armor? 0% chance. Okay. So we will just shoot at you guys. Destroyed that enemy infantry. Badly damaged that enemy infantry. All right. 
I don't love that the enemy is driving into our flank, so as much as I'd rather target other things. Will they not shoot back if I shoot at their artillery? They won't, so we finish off that infantry and damage their artillery. I'm good with that. Missed. All right, so we drove their armor back just with artillery. Hell yeah, brothers. Good job, boys. Let's get our T-34s on the flank there to help. I was hoping for. Okay. Can we finish off that infantry in the... We do. Okay, good job, boys. Now I can... Oh, we're still adjacent to that other enemy unit. Never mind. Damage that Panzer three. Miss. Damn it. Okay, so we also should have a few more infantry units we can throw in because we've used up all of our. We keep taking casualties. All right, move these guys into that entrenchment. Should give them some cover. And we have no prestige to buy anything else, so I guess that's it for this turn. We can upgrade some stuff. Let's open defense. One def defense will stay in the open terrain. Press the advantage. 10 APs whenever it destroys an enemy unit. That feels valuable. All right. And turn three. All right, they're going to spend a fair bit of the enemy units are resupplying this turn. Their strategic bombing. I don't know if we, like, lose if we lose this last section of the city. There's no indication that we have to hold that base. But it could be a thing. Stuka's hitting my light armor in the city, doing quite a bit of damage. And my infantry in that uh, zone are getting getting pretty pretty shot up. So that was a successful assault. A bunch of infantry coming in on the flank. But my tanks are... Well, at least the first attack went our way. All right, they're going to assault that position as well, driving on our flank. Okay. Panzer three, that one with a long gun. Shit. That artillery attack did a did a number. And there goes our ant our tank unit. We are losing a lot of men. This is a tricky one. Yes, please. Get these guys off my flank. T-34 
T-34s versus German light tanks with machine guns. Lully, lully, lull. Wow, we did a lot of damage there. Missed in their anti-aircraft fire, and we pretty badly shot up their tanks, too, with that assault. Okay. Damaged, but not destroyed. Got him. Got him. So two German armored units destroyed there. Wow, that artillery did, did a number against him. Do we have any... No. Right, well, we're not going to launch with an assault then. We did finish off that enemy infantry unit, though. One to two. Got another enemy infantry unit destroyed. So we're using our infantry on this left flank to blunt their attack. aircraft gun against those guys that's interesting um can we finish this guy off there's a chance get that panzer three yeah panzer three gone nice all right everybody this fight ended up being well over an hour um or a decent amount over an hour so we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here and we'll pick this up in our next episode the conclusion of the battle for stalingrad i'd say things are going mixed we had some initial successes on the right flank taking the airfield we have lost a considerable amount of strength and experienced units on the left flank which really seems to be where a lot of resistance is meeting us so we'll see if we'll be able to finish that uh, that attack on the objective on the left flank and then also whether we can have enough strength left to shift to the right into the city of stalingrad itself uh, but that'll be for another episode that'll be for another time uh, i hope you guys are enjoying the video please leave your thoughts down below as always uh, and as a final reminder, this was a sponsored stream. Uh, this is the new game Total Tank Generals uh, by uh, noobs from Poland and 505 Games. Uh, and until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you very much for watching, and I'm out.